everyone. Welcome back to the store. We are going to take a little quick look today at this new rack we got in. It's a, it says Puss Cycle, but it's Pi Cycle. Uh, Pi 3.1489, something like that. Um, so yeah, we've uh, taken it out of the box. We can just, uh, you'll see there's an envelope in there, a little instruction manual. But we are men, we don't even look at these things. If you have a wife around, you might want to hang on to it. Um, got some rat, uh, some straps here and keys. So the keys, real quick, they go to these locks um, on the handles here. So if you if you lock it, it it, uh, it disengages the uh, the threads here, so it just free spins. And then when you put the key back in and turn it back on or reengage the lock, then it uh, that's how you loosen it. But um, Without further ado, let's jump into the the rack itself. So we've got it unboxed. Um, there's a red lever here. You can see um, it, that kind of locks into place to hold the rack. You push that and then you can drop this around. Pull this to get this access to that. That's out of the way. And now you'll notice with this rack, it's got some wheels on the bottom, which are kind of handy. So when you're hauling it around um, your garage or whatever, you can just set it down like that and pull it around. And the other long box you'll see, this is the, where the ramp is to get the bikes on. So pull it out and here's your little connector and there should be a bolt or a nut. Yep, right here. So that nut goes on here and it's got a nylon it's a nylon threaded nut, so I'm not gonna do it two times, I'm just gonna do it with my, by my hand for now. Um, yeah, folds out like this, and we're ready to go put it on the uh, ramp. So you'll notice down here, there's um, a knob you can turn, and what this does is this push, the, the further you twist it, um, it, it drops this down inside, so um, depending on the size of your hitch, um, it'll fit that, so you can drop it down so when you're looking at it straight on, you don't see the, the part protruding there, and then you, you put it on to the, uh, the hitch. And then what you gotta do is there's a, a lever over here you gotta pull out and then slide this on. And then you gotta line it up <laughs> with the hole right there. And then you can twist this clockwise and it's gonna tighten up that, that bolt inside there, that, or that part that was dropped down. And then it's on there nice and snug. It's not going anywhere. And then you've got, uh, a little bit more. Then you've got a, a locking thing there as well, so you can lock it onto the, the hitch, which is a nice feature. So, um, yeah, we'll just get this nice and snug. And then we're gonna test this sucker out. So, um, obviously, down like that, drops the things, or the, the forms, and gonna loosen up the uh, straps here. Centered. And uh, I guess maybe the first thing we should do is give this a good weight test, huh? Because uh, it says it's rated up to 135 pounds. And fortunately, that's exactly how much I weigh. So I think I'm going to hop on here and uh, see what this thing can hold. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, for the record, I'm not 135 pounds, but uh, this thing uh, feels pretty solid, like it's not going anywhere, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we don't recommend you exceed the, the weight limit, but uh, I am well over 135 pounds. So now, if you look here, you got a little, um, little lever right here you can pull, and what this does is this disengages the pin there, and, and you can tilt the bikes back, which allow you to, drop a tailgate or if you have a hatchback you can lift the, the hatchback up and just push this forward and lock it back in. So now we're just ready to put it on the, the rack and it just there's a little hole right here that it slides into. So it's like that and you roll the bike up. With the ramp ready just make sure your straps are out of the way and you can just roll the bike right up like so. And I wheel this chain around so these pedals aren't hitting this bar. And shazam, we are on. Just need that little crossbar thing here to 
the brace, put this on and, uh, and we'll strap it down. All right, so we're gonna throw on the XF900 and then we've got a Range Rover there to throw on this guy. So um, the easiest way I've found is to kind of wheel it forward, grab the rear brake, pop a wheelie, you can kind of wheel it over to where you want it. And then spin this around, grab the rack and you can just lift it and roll it on. Now for this, um, we're gonna use this little guy, the first one, and just gonna clamp it onto this bar here. And we're gonna use this to just kind of grab right around that down tube. Get that a little snug. Just kind of get it where close to where we want it. Make sure we're sitting in the track right. And then just uh, line up your, your ties here. Come through. Get it nice and snug. And same thing on this wheel. Shoot through this gap right here. And that kind of gets us in place. And again, you can use the key to lock that on if you want, if you'd like. Um, now for the other bike. Um, and we took the battery off here. Batteries anywhere from eight to, eight to 11, 12 pounds. Um, so you can reduce some weight if you want. The one bike lean back test. So I'm gonna drop that lever right there. Lean it back. Whoa, it's like magic. Look at that. And then pushing it back up, not a problem at all. Easy peasy. All right, let's throw the Ranger on here. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to wheel this one on like I did the last one. So I'm just gonna kind of look at the pedals here and make sure the pedals aren't in a position where they're gonna be battling it out. So I'll take that around and Good thing I went to the gym this morning. Lift this guy up, set him on, one wheel on, second wheel almost on. There we go. Something like that. And I'll just lean that there for a second. So I grab this other bar. Use this guy to reach through here. And Bring that out. And of course, this will, you know, depending on which models of bikes you have and whatnot, this will all be different for everybody, so. There, and here. Okay. Just like that. Okay, and then to drop this, step on that. <laughs> so let's see, the Ranger with the battery is 90 pounds. The XF900 without the battery is probably in the 75, 80 pound range. So we've got a little bit of weight here, 160, 170, 65 pounds. And uh, yeah down up and if you don't feel like going to the gym you can just sit here and do this all day so this is a quick little assembly guide video to show how to put this together on your on your hitch um, make sure you're, you stay under the weight uh, the recommended weight limits for this and uh, yeah if you have any questions feel free to reach out <laughs>